Thanks for staying with us and you're welcome back to Newsdesk. Now, farmers in the Hunter West District of the Western Region are happy they are yet to be paid compensation for lands taken from them for use by companies in the oil and gas industry. Over 200 of them at Abwaze, a farming community in the district, who have had their farms destroyed, say the compensation due them runs into several thousands of cities. Apart from the compensation, which is outstanding, the farmers are also concerned about the rate at which farmlands are being taken over by the oil and gas sector. Joy News Justice Beidou went to meet them and has filed this report. A drive through Ghana's oil heartland. The evidence is everywhere. Signs of a booming local economy. Here, where green forest once stood, new structures are springing up by the day. Right behind me is a fish pond valued at about 25,000 cities. This fish pond cannot be used again because it's been blocked by works from industrial companies that are working here in Abwadi, a town in the Hunter West district. This is just one of many farms that has now been destroyed by works related with the oil and gas industry in the western region. This is the reason why many farmers in this area are now out of work. Many of them, now with livelihoods on the line, are up in arms. Osajifo Rowe Steven, aka ORS. Osajifo, who put together this group of farmers to protest their loss, himself has had his 20,000 city worth farm destroyed. The, the chiefs and their landowners have sold all the land at Hunter West. So as now I'm speaking, we don't have any land, or let me put in agriculture land at Hunter West. Likewise, the whole Western region, because the oil is in Western region. This and more are some of the injustices that local farmer support group Tractor is working to address. Hello. Welcome to Bibove Tractor. Thank you. The rate at which the agricultural land are being converted to industrial purposes is a cause for concern. In the near future, there will be a very high food insecurity in the western region. So something needs to be done. With the oil industry itself struggling with plummeting global prices, many in this region, including farmers, are not yet sure what the future holds. What they are certain about, though, is a major food crisis that looms as they sit helpless. Justice Beidou, Joy News, Abwadi. All right, let's check out what's on our online portal, myjoinline.com. And the story here says that Ghana's emergency service system, one of the best in Africa, that's according to the chief executive of the National Ambulance Service, Professor Ahmed Nuhu Zakaria, who is touting uh, the uh, efforts they are making uh, over there. And passenger plane missing in Nepal. Uh, also on myjoinline.com, such soldier busted for robbery and that story concerns a soldier who was recently uh, dismissed from the Ghana Armed Forces joining a gang of armed robbers. Uh, U.S. Ambassador blames Gitmo agitation on misinformation. Let's recap our headlines now. Aspirants contesting the Clotic Kole seat at this weekend's primary desperate to win the contest as rival Nino Inote campaigns on tribal lines urging Ghana indigenous in the constituency to vote massively for him. Also, former diplomat and secretary to the late president of Sajifo, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, unhappy about the deteriorating living standards of Ghana ahead of the country's 59th independence anniversary celebration. And farmers in the Hunter West District, farmers in the Hunter West District of the Western Region fed up waiting for compensation for their lands that were taken away from them by oil companies. For more news, log on to myjoinline.com. My name is Kwache Afreniama.